This is a tutorial for week one assignment two for color theory. Keep in mind that the majority of this assignment involves answering discussion questions and then discussing them with your peers in the discussion forum for this assignment. However, this assignment also has a visual component in which you are going to create charts illustrating the differences between the three variables or properties of color which are hue, value, and saturation. So a color has hue, which is to do with the specific color category, such as red versus yellow versus orange. Those are different hues. A color also has value, which is the relative lightness or darkness of a color. Um, that's basically how light or dark a color is, uh, ranging from uh, white to black in terms of its value. So if you were to look at it, as in as a look at a color photograph as a black and white photograph you're seeing the colors values um, and then a color also has saturation which is the relative intensity of a color which has to do with the strength or the weakness of that color and uh, intensity and saturation can range from full saturation or full intensity to weak or low saturation, uh, which basically means the color has been washed out to gray. So we're going to set up three charts illustrating this. You're more than welcome to use the templates provided for this assignment. However, you can also use this method shown in this video to uh, create your own um, charts. Just make sure that you label them. So what I've first done is I've opened up a new file in Illustrator and I make sure that I'm using RGB mode. And then what I do is I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and hold down Shift or Command on the Mac to create a square. doesn't matter what the color the square is right now for the moment. We just need a square. And then we're going to hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac to click and drag to create a second square that's the same shape, same size and shape. So now I have two squares here. And then what I'm going to do is set up a blend. So I'm going to go to Object, Blend, Blend Options. And I'm going to click on this little drop down arrow to select Specified Steps. And I want to create eight specified steps so that I create a chart that has a total of ten colors including the first and the last color. Then, once I have that blend um, set up, I can come over here to use the blend tool to click on the first shape and then click on the second shape and it will automatically uh, create the squares in between. And what it does is it's mixing the two colors, uh, mixing the two, blending the two basically. So, and you need to also make sure you grab the text tool to label each of your charts. So this first one is a gradation in hue at maximum saturation. So to now fill in the colors, um, you need to choose a color. You can come up here to the fill color box and just select any color that you want to to put into your boxes. Once you've selected the color, just go ahead and click and drag it to put it into the first box in each of your charts. One, two, three. And then you need to um, select the colors for the ends of the charts to correctly show each of these things. So the first one, gradation in hue. To show gradation in hue, we need the color category to actually change. So we need to change this to change from one color category to another color category so that we have a change in hue. So for that, we need to select a second color. Any color will do. Just take a second color, put it in the ending box, click and drag to put it there. And now we have a gradation in hue at maximum saturation because both of these colors are at full intensity, maximum saturation, and they are changing gradually from one hue category or one color category to another. So for a gradation in value, you can either have the color go all the way to white or all the way to black. Here it's set up to go to white. Alternatively, I could also pick black as the ending color and click and drag black to put that in here so that the value is now darkening instead of lightening. For gradation and saturation, maintaining a fixed hue and value, you need to keep the same hue, so it needs to stay red, 
the value needs to stay the same, which means it needs to say the same relative lightness or darkness of that color, but the saturation or the intensity needs to change. So basically, we need to find a gray color that is equivalent in value to our red. So we need to find uh, what the relative lightness or darkness of that red color is, and then choose a gray that's about the same uh, value as the red. And then when you mix them together, we are maintaining the same value, so the lightness or the darkness isn't changing, but the intensity is slowly decreasing till it gets all the way over to gray. So that's how you create your three charts. And then, of course, you need to answer the discussion questions and be sure to discuss these three properties of hue, value, and saturation with your classmates.